Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to talk briefly about a few things you can do with image tags in order to improve your uh, SEO or search engine optimization. So, what I did here is I just did a, a Bing search here, Landscape Design, Bend, Oregon, and I looked at the few top natural results. Okay, so a couple, several companies here just in the top three. And the first one I'm looking at, and Land Escapes here, what I specifically want to look at is their image tags. And I'm using the Firebug add-on here in Firefox. So I've got Firebug turned on. And I'm going to go to the Inspect mode. And that'll allow me to mouse over different parts of the web page so I can find jump right to their HTML. And let me look at this image. And you can see it here at the bottom of my screen. Let me, uh, I'll zoom in on this for you, though. And this first example is going to be my bad example, unfortunately. So this, this particular business is not taking advantage of their own HTML, especially when it relates to images. So they have this image, and just look at that file name. It's just encoded with a bunch of letters and numbers, and there's nothing descriptive about it. In addition, this image doesn't even have an alt attribute to give it some alternate description. So it's missing an alt attribute and it has a very poor non-descriptive file name. So that's both things you do not want to do. And we can check it out. This image over here, same basic thing. Um, really confusing file name and no alt attribute. Let me jump over to their photos area. Oh, I gotta turn off my... There we go, now it'll jump over. And I'm jump back over to inspect mode and we can see with all of their pictures they have the same problem over and over and they're nice photos and they are clearly demonstrations of their work their service yet there's nothing describing them okay so that's a that's a bad example let's jump over and let's check out this other business this is um Carl Sang Designs, and I've got my Firebug turned on. Let me make sure I'm in inspect mode. I'm going to mouse over the uh, profile photo, and I like this one. I'd like you to pay a special attention to the alt attribute. So the alt attribute for this photo, it's got the, the, the woman's name, Tanya Carlson. It's got Bend, Oregon, which are keywords that I used when searching. I searched for landscape design, Bend, Oregon. So local search is extremely common, extremely popular. You want to incorporate your city in your searches, or I'm sorry, in your keywords so that people can search for them much easier. That's what you want to emphasize. People aren't just going to search for landscape design. They want landscape design in a specific area. Um, so in addition, she's got her name, Tanya Carlson, Bend, Oregon, landscape designer. There we go. So it's alternate text, which really describes this photo. It's a, you know, it's a portrait, and it's got the keywords for the business. And let's check out a couple other images on here. Make sure I'm still in inspect mode. Here we go, here's another one. Hand-drawn and colored landscape designs. The next one, drawing landscape services, Bend, Oregon. Drawing landscape services, Bend, Oregon. Now I don't, I like the fact that these first two, they're, they're both good alt attributes, they have the keywords in there and they're different. I think these two could be mixed up and still use the same keywords. But still, a good example of using alt attributes in the image tag. The only drawback is her image file names. So she's got the alt attributes down, and now it's just time to kind of enhance some of these image file names so that we can use more keywords. Which brings me over to my last example here. And what business is this? This is a Heart Springs Design. A little tough to read that font, but Heart Springs Design. And I'm already over on their photos page, but let me go into inspect mode and Firebug, and let's check out some of these images. And on this one, their alt attribute is a little bit weak. <laughs> so this one doesn't have a good alt attribute, but I like how they did their file names. And you really have to kind of check it out. Uh, let me just click on that so it kind of locks in. So their alt attribute is simply high desert and sustainability. So the picture that I just clicked on is a zero scaped, you know, a lot of rock landscaping and um, low water plants. But check out the file names though for the image. So this particular image, where is it at? Here we go. It's Brasada Backyard.jpg. 
So, which is a neighborhood here in, in Bend, Oregon. So, but it's very specific and it's using some 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 good keywords. Let me go to another one here. Here's one: high desert entry after one year. Jpg, and another one. Cozy hangout split. All right, so maybe that one could have been a little bit better, but still, they're incorporating keywords right inside of the JPEG, right inside of the file name. So what you want to do is a combination of a couple of these businesses here. You want to use very descriptive alt attributes that incorporate keywords, and you want to use very descriptive image file names that incorporate keywords, and do those for all images.